Alex V Trigger 2 is Rage Boost. It gives him access to a couple of his command grabs from Street Fighter 3. The install is the same as V-Trigger 1, so the same combos work. When in trigger, hitting Fierce and Renhouse again gives Alex a jumping spiral DDT. It's unblockable, and it goes really far, which is cool. And you can combo into it, pretty much from the same things that combo into Sledgehammer. But it won't grab opponents who are jumping or crouching. This basically makes it useless and a liability in neutral. Alex can't easily stop the opponent from holding down back, and they get a full combo punish on him if they duck this. It also makes it really annoying to combo into, since you need an attack that forces stand, which is basically just Lariat. So apart from hard hits, crush counters, and certain activation combos, it's pretty hard to use. It doesn't go through fireballs or anything either. If you push Fierce and Renhouse during a chop, Alex will automatically combo into his sleeper hold. It adds respectable damage, stun, and a knockdown to all of your chop combos. This is actually really good. It's not guaranteed to combo. It can fall out based on range, and it's pretty unsafe on block or whiff. It works with EX Chop too, but only for the first hit. So unless you need the extra speed or range, save your bar. In general, most times you can land the DDT, you can land the sleeper for a smidge less damage and more stun. Both give you guaranteed meaty third frame lariat, which will be any reversal normals. Attempting the DDT takes a quarter of your remaining V trigger time, succeeding takes another quarter. Using sleeper at all takes half, so no matter how you use it, you'll only land it twice. I think this trigger is generally worse than its VT1, and to be frank, I'm surprised it made it through testing. The DDT doesn't really have a complete mix-up associated with it, it pretty much just has some hard counters. The combos from Chop are really cool, and I just wish Alex could do those all the time, but the two uses really aren't enough to justify it. It doesn't even do any more damage than its VT1, and it lacks the depth, the parry, and the super setups. Overall I think I'd pick VT1 in almost any matchup. I will say it does make Alex's light combos pretty strong.